people are always, always, always trying to find a quick fix to their problems. And in biology, there seldom is one. On the topic of metabolism, boosting it, hyperdriving it, speeding it up, the search, well, is ever on for a solution. Well, remarkably, there is such a solution that's found encoded in our very genome. Now, that certainly sounds like some voodoo magic, and I'm going to start spouting different buzzwords like how to unlock your hidden metabolism or some other bull. Well, I'm not going to do that. But what I will do for you is explain this molecule that is found within your cells, and I will also link some content on how to increase it in your body. No gimmicks. All right, so the molecule, the protein, is called uncoupling protein, or UCP for short. Uh, it's a protein that is created by some of our cells, like certain fat cells, and it truly does have an incredible effect increasing your metabolism. But how does it do that, and why isn't it always active? If we zoom into our mitochondria of our cells, and we close in on the energy-producing sections of your mitochondria, there are these proteins that make up a chain known as the electron transport chain. These proteins are inserted into the inner membrane of the mitochondrion. This membrane separates the other sections of the mitochondrion from the most inner part of the mitochondria known as the matrix. This is important because this separation allows a gradient of molecules to form, some being found outside and some inside of this membrane. One of the chief atoms kept outside of the matrix is known as a proton. Protons are kept in high levels outside of the inner membrane, and they enter the matrix through a protein called the ATP synthase. As they enter the matrix, they propel the ATP synthase to generate energy. There's a point to knowing all this, I promise you. Now, back to the electron transport chain that I mentioned earlier, uh, the one embedded in the mitochondrial inner membrane. So these proteins pump protons back from the matrix to the outside of the matrix. If they don't exist, all the protons just flow into the matrix and there's no way to get them back out, defeating the purpose of the separation. These proteins are powered by electrons that are taken, simplistically speaking, from nutrients that we either consume or are taken from our cells, like fat cells. Hopefully you're starting to see a link here, even if I haven't discussed UCP yet. In brief, fat nutrients get released by your fat cells. They then enter your other cells, and then they get converted to a point where they can supply electrons to power the electron transport chain, which pumps protons back where they belong, allowing the gradient to be formed where protons flow back into the matrix, rotating the ATP synthase, thereby allowing ATP, or cell energy, to be produced. So we're more interested in the constant flow of protons in and out of the matrix, though, so focus on that. Now, when UCP is expressed in the cells, the protein is inserted into the mitochondrial inner membrane, where it creates a leak. A leak of what? Protons. That means that now protons are not just entering the matrix through the ATP synthase, but also through UCP. As such, the electron transport chain needs to work harder to pump this increased entrance of protons back out. Where do you think that they get that energy source? Their electrons? That's right, the nutrients, which means since they need to work harder, they need more nutrients, which means more fat molecules are being used, which means increased metabolism, greater chance for fat loss. Now, if your cells have UCP genes, why doesn't this mechanism always stay present? Well, because although we have the genes, it does not mean that we have the right triggers to read and express those genes. Not to mention, some cells have those genes locked, so they cannot be accessed. But for the cells that can access them, there may be ways of increasing the expression of UCP. So I'll link content for you, unless you don't care about mega-boosting your metabolism. 
So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon, I hope. Bye.